Leaders of several school districts across the state are coming out against Governor Lee's school voucher plan. Yeah, if his bill passes next year, every student in Tennessee could eventually be eligible to take taxpayer money and then use it for private school. As state capital reporter Chris O'Brien finds out, the opposition isn't just coming from the big cities. Earlier this week, Arlington Community Schools released a statement slamming Tennessee's plan to grade public schools A through F and other new rules. The superintendent says it's a strategic march toward privatizing education by making public schools look bad. Really, the statement is a representation of being uh, tired, tired and fed up with uh, legislation that is impossible and damaging. Uh, to public schools. A sticking point for many school leaders has been a lack of clarity over accountability. And Governor Bill Lee did not say how private schools would be held accountable for student performance when he announced vouchers, but his office said today it expects there to be something before vouchers are implemented. We receive public funds, but we're accountable for every penny of those public funds. And what are we using those funds for? In a snippet of a much longer statement, Governor Bill Lee's press secretary, Elizabeth Lane Johnson, wrote, Parents are the best form of accountability because they have their child's best interest in mind and will hold schools accountable to that end. Plus, other state leaders say there are other measures of success out there. There are other tests out there that they could use that they may be using today. But what I will say is when you're looking at that, I think that we should give more autonomy to public schools that are performing well. I totally agree with that. Critics have also pointed out there are some counties with no private schools. So should residents in those counties be required to pay for an education system they can't currently access? It comes down to what do you think is best for those families and for those kids. You may not have one today, but the best way to make sure that you will never have one is never give anybody the opportunity to open one. But critics say if you adequately fund public schools, this wouldn't be an issue. We're stabbed in the back with these legislative uh, uh, approvals or legislative uh, agendas, and we're, we're just... We're just not going to do it anymore. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. And Arlington was not the only school district that spoke out against the potential voucher expansion. Chris also reached out to the Germantown School District after they released a video statement as well. Tennessee, just in our pilot program alone, the governor said, oh, 92 percent of the, the parents were happy who took advantage of the vouchers. The more important metric was how many of them performed better than their uh, counterparts in public schools. None. If we're going to have accountability, if we're going to have tests, let's look at how students are performing. And to read the governor's office's full statement on this topic, you can go to our website. We've got it for you there, wate.com.